her doctor, her pediatrician, always, you know, just kind of blew off anything we had to say. I was like, oh, it's normal. Kids, kids, you know, just all develop at different rates. <laughs> Is that your favorite? <laughs> and then we had her reassessed. And when we told her pediatrician we were having her assessed, she was like, I don't know why they have to, they feel like they have to test every kid. And I'm like, we actually requested it because we feel like she has some major delays. And it seemed like she was slow to start walking. Um, it seemed kind of apparent for me, but I was kind of in denial about it. You know, nobody wants to think there's something wrong with their child, so. And this was when she was like one and a half. She wasn't walking yet. She wasn't talking. been trying to wait for the insurance to go through before we went um, and talked to him about this genetic disorder we suspect she has. Williams syndrome is a genetic disorder that um, is caused by a deletion of some chromosome or a deletion on the seventh chromosome. I can't remember exactly of what, but um, that's what affects or that's what causes all these different things that mm -hmm. are affecting her, the speech delay. Um, the kind of clumsiness, the, her elfish appearance. Mm. So, so okay. don't fall down. Oh, did you get an owie right there? I'm sorry. Uh, no. Here, big hug, and then we're gonna clean it real fast. Okay, ready? Oh, I'm sorry. She's um going to Head Start. It's um I can't remember what the program is called, but um kids who have special needs get to go to school early. And since she has a speech delay, that's what is considered her special need. So mm -hmm. she gets um, speech therapy at school. Is it cheese? Can you show me the sign? Good job. There's like a bunch of YouTube videos for sign language. And then there's also a show on PBS called Signing Time. And it has like a lady that does all sorts of signs and does songs. And she watches it. She actually knows more signs than we do. Are y'all done? Can you show me you're all done? Well, one of my main thing is um, having to not really explain, but for people to kind of point out that your child is different and like have to, I feel like there shouldn't have, I shouldn't have to explain for my child. She's just herself, you know, William syndrome or not. Swimming and music, those are her two favorite things. So. We actually have a kiddie pool outside and we have to dump it out because anytime she gets out there, she pants off, diving in the pool. There's Molly playing with the hose. Oh, she still likes that. Sometimes I see kids like kind of back away from her, which also like, that kind of hurts, you know? She's oh, just trying to yeah. be friendly and it's a little intense for other kids, <laughs> so. She's super, like, friendly. She's never upset, like hardly ever. We don't get temper tantrums, we don't get, which, I mean, every once in a while, but not as much as most three-year-olds, you know? She's very lovable. Cheese? She loves strangers. She's just very Cheese? big and kind-hearted. Right. And she loves music, which is great, too. She's just, like, super friendly and we're really musical, so we appreciate that about her, too. You want this one? <laughs> yes? <laughs> you know, like, nobody wants to have, you know, a kid that has a genetic disorder. Nobody wants that for their child. Um, everybody wants their kids to be, you know, happy and healthy. Well, she's happy and she loves music. And if there was one thing we had to have wrong with her, I'm glad it's this because it fits our life, you know. Ah. <laughs>